So let's look at what the uh, what the right side view should look like in our video here. Let's pan over a little bit to see our finished views. Uh, and you can see what this thing's going to look like. And so we want to get this, we need to get this width in right here. And we can actually project that from the top view through our miter line uh, by using some object snap functions. And so uh, let's go over here and do that. We're going to go to the uh, line command. And we're going to select on uh, this tool called temporary track point, which is on the object snap toolbar. And next we'll go to uh, the endpoint of that line and just park there until it acquires that point. It tells us we know we have it when it says endpoint. We'll see the dash line as we come across, and we're going to pick when we get when we see that X on our miter line. We want to pick right there. Next, we're going to come down here, and uh, the next thing we're looking for is how far down should we come to draw this line. And we could actually come all the way over here to the top view here and acquire that point. And you'll see that we have a dash line coming across, and as we get under where our other dash line was, we're going to see two dash lines come together at an X. If we pick on that X and go straight across to the endpoint of that line and pick and press escape, uh, we have our line. Now we can come over here, start another line, and pick at the endpoint of this and come up and likewise we can come over here and just park at the end of that line until it says it has the endpoint. We come over here where we see the uh, X light up, pick right there and from there let's go to the endpoint of this line and pick and press escape. Next we can take a line from this corner right here perpendicular to here, press escape. We can do a line from this corner perpendicular to here, press escape, and uh, we need a visible line from this corner, so we're going to acquire this point right here, come straight across, we see our pick point, our X, we're going to pick perpendicular right there, and uh, so we're starting to get our view in here. Now, we still need some hidden lines in this, and, uh, and some center lines, and um, we can actually even project those from this view over here, so what I'm going to do is go make my uh, hidden layer current. Select, uh, select hidden. I'm going to pick the line command and the temporary track point option. And I'm going to go here to the, it says the midpoint, but the, that would also be a quadrant uh, on that slot. I'm going to just park there until it says it has the midpoint. Then I'm going to come straight over to my miter line until I see the X. I'm going to pick here. I'm going to come straight down, and when I get to the top of that line right there, I'm going to pick, and then pick right there. And so, if I zoom in on that, that's the that hidden line right there represents the front edge of the slot. So I'm going to zoom back out. Let's put the back edge of the slot in, doing the, a similar technique. Now we have to be able to see all of this uh, on the screen, and so that makes me I, I have to sort of reduce the size of my drawing here. But so we're going to do a line from temporary track point. We're going to come up here and park right there and it says until it has that midpoint. We're going to come across to here. When we get the X, we're going to pick. We're going to follow the dash line straight down. We're going to pick at that intersection and pick at this intersection and press escape. All right, let's put some center lines in here. We're going to pick. We're going to make center our current layer and uh, come over here and pick on the center mark and pick right here and get our first center mark in there, pick center mark again and pick up here, get another center mark in. Uh, I can see that I kind of have a problem here. I'm going to pick on this guy and delete him out. I'm going to pick here and delete him out. Uh, I was trying to see what was which of those lines was lying underneath there, so now I kind of know. So I'm going to undo back and undo and uh, what I want to do is I'm going to try to get rid of that longer center line right there and just leave this shorter one in place and drag it down just a little bit make sure I have ortho on and pick. So uh, there's some center lines. I want to make sure that these center lines extend out a quarter inch so I can go back to there, pick on that with my pick button my mouse, uh, move out in that direction type 0.25 and press enter. Do the same thing here. First I want to take it back to the line, pick on it again, drag it down, type 0.25 and press enter. And uh, now I have a pretty good idea of about what the 0.25 is going to look like. And uh, I can kind of reproduce that on my other views here. I could 
do it exactly by short, using the technique that I showed you a second ago, but just to speed things up, I'm going to do it that way. And uh, so my uh, hidden lines look, look good here, so I'm going to select all these hidden lines, I'm sorry, center lines that I just made, and mirror those guys. So I'm going to pick on mirror, and I'm going to go from midpoint to midpoint for my mirror line, and then press enter. And uh, so now let's talk about projecting those center lines through the miter line over here into this view. So I will pick on the line command, pick temporary track point, go to the end point right here and just park on that for a second, come across, find the X, come down to here and come down to there and pick. So I've got a center line right here, though it's not showing as a center line yet with a dash because it's too short. I'm going to pick on line, pick temporary track point, park at the end point of this center line, come over to my miter line, pick, come down to here, pick, and pick again. And now I'm going to pick on that center line, and then I'm going to hold down with my pick button and drag this up and type 0.25 and press enter. And I'm going to do the same thing here, hold that down, drag it out, type 0.25 and press enter. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, pick, drag this up, type 0.25 and press enter pick, drag this down, top 0.25 and press enter, and press escape. Oh, something happened here. Let me uh, go down to there, drag that down, and top 0.25 and press enter. There we go. Now, when I look at those hidden lines, I don't see a gap in there showing the little dash for the hidden, I keep calling it a hidden line, I'm sorry, center line. Um, what I want to do is change the line type scale so that that will show. So what I'm going to do is just type LT scale L-T-S-C-A-L-E, press enter. My current line type scale is at 1. I'm going to type in 0.75 and see if that works. All right, so that wasn't enough, so I'm going to press enter, which will bring me back to that command. I'm going to type 0.625 and press enter. And at 0.625, the gaps uh, get small enough that they start to show up, and that's, so that's what I want my center marks to look like over here. I would follow kind of a similar thing in projecting my hidden lines down from the slot in the top view and putting the center line in and then also projecting hidden lines from the front view up into this area of my top view and then putting a center mark on there and projecting those up as well to finish the view. So when I, and I would do the same thing over here, add hidden lines and center lines. And so when I'm finished, That gives you a good idea of uh, what all the center lines and hidden lines and all are going to look like once they've been added to this project.